Um, I have notes about Starfield, but I didn't write anything. So I wanted to talk about that another time. Starfield sounds cool. It's made by the developers that made Skyrim. Mm. And it's basically, it sounds like an evolution of everything in the Skyrim is, but in space. And that sounds really that, cool. Yeah, that does sound really cool. And I don't really, I'm not, I'm starting to kind of like some RPGs. <laughs> if this game, this game could be another one of those RPGs I like. Like, they're a rare few. Elden Ring is one of them, because yeah. Elden Ring is 100 is an, an, an action RPG. But um, the way that it just, it just, it's like Breath of the Wild, which Breath of the Wild is kind of RPG. It's kind of RPG ish. Like, but it's not super RPG ish. But I feel like the same way about Elden Ring. It's definitely an RPG. It's just. But it doesn't lean so heavily on it that I don't like it. <laughs> right. There's just enough RPG that makes it bearable. That See, me. It, that's exactly what it is. I'm big on RPG. So I'm like, man, I'm all over that, you know? Like, um, what is it? Uh, um, Recently announced was a uh, a new Tomb Raider game. They're making a, really. They're making a fourth one. I figured they. Were I thought they made one. a fourth like one I, already. They made three. Oh. Um, of the, the most recent trilogy. Gotcha. But, um, like I said, games never end. I knew they were going to make a movie. Yeah. Um, and it's being made by the same studio naturally, and uh, Crystal Dynamics. Um, uh, who made that horrible Avengers game? <laughs> but uh, you know, I don't want to hold that against them. They make good Tomb Raider games. I really like the first one, but the second two just didn't really interest me. Yeah, they're they're kind of dry. But um and it's because they were incorporating RPG elements. And I didn't like it. Yeah, it's like not every the first game had them, but they didn't they took a backseat. They didn't interrupt my enjoyment of the game very much. I tried to play the third one. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I watched gameplay the second one and I it just never interested me. So I never purchased it. The only reason I got the third one is because it was with uh it was a one of the free games for um one of the um I'm on PlayStation Plus for one month. Right. So I, I checked it. I checked it out and didn't like it. Um, but it just made me think of like a an Uncharted sequel, which like much like how, um, despite the fact that the game kind of ended in a way that it's like, it's over. There's they're gonna make another one. Yeah. But I didn't want them to make another one until I played Lost Legacy. Lost Legacy. So good. You play as Chloe, mm -hmm. um, and she's working with Nadine, mm -hmm. and. You've seen have you have you played it or seen anything? I have, yeah, a long time ago though. Like Okay, I, so I wouldn't be spoiling. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay, cool. So because because of that, I'm like, okay, if they make a sequel, I want I want it to be Uncharted 5 and you play as Chloe. Maybe you can play as both Chloe and Nadine. That would be interesting. And then um Sam would essentially function as their Sully. Ah. Since Sam is a new character mm -hmm. and we haven't got a lot of them, and he was also in Lost Legacy. Um, he it would be cool if he like their version of Sully who comes in and helps them out and maybe flies an airplane or something like. It's like a lost legacy. The too, part of the story is for. that um, at the end of the game, it's shown that he like essentially worked with Sully up until they retired. Mm -hmm. So it would make sense that he eventually Has starts doing a lot of the yeah. stuff that Sully does because Sully he's getting old. Right, <laughs> getting old, he is old. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I I want what I want them to do though is mm -hmm. that um, the gameplay of Uncharted is super basic. And I wish it wasn't. It's just it's just it's hide and cover. It's a cover based shooter. They're right. shooter. You just hide and cover and you shoot. There's a little bit of stuff, but it's not. It's not a viable option. And um, I don't like when games add stealth just for the sake of having stealth. Yeah. Like Elden Ring has stealth. Guess what I don't do? Stealth. stealth. <laughs> sometimes a... if I sneak around enemies, it's not to take them out. It's because I don't want to. I don't fight feel them. like fighting them. It's because I don't want to fight them. I like having that option. But don't give me the option of the being stealthy if it sucks. Like another reason why I don't like Horizon, <laughs> the stealth is just unnecessary. Yeah. It shouldn't be there because it it it's not a viable option and it's it's weird. But with uh Uncharted, it's it's again it's not great. But in the last part two, made by the same studio, mm -hmm. it's up there with like Metal Gear for me in terms of how that game plays its stealth oh. mechanics. It is insane. I wish. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> And it's funny because what mm -hmm. they did that elevated their self was add the option of going prone. Uh, <laughs> but sometimes think, that's all it takes. That's all it took to make it phenomenal. And the AI is ridiculous. So mm -hmm. I can only imagine what the AI would be like in Uncharted 5. Uh, like if they took those gameplay elements of mm -hmm. that stuff and, and upgraded it and maybe even do some interesting interesting things with the climbings maybe, the climbing maybe to make it a little bit more complicated and more fun. Because mm -hmm. for the most part, it's just going through the motions. It's not like, it doesn't really you're require just, any like dexterity. No, it doesn't really require anything, you're just climbing. Um, if they could make those parts more interesting, then it would be amazing. Right. But also another option is that I also want, maybe Uncharted 5 is focused on Chloe. Yeah. 
but they do an Uncharted Lost Legacy style, like um um smaller game. Mm. But it's a prequel. That and would you be play fun. as um Cassandra Morgan mm. and Evelyn. Cassandra Morgan is Sam and Nate's mom. Right. And Evelyn is that old lady that they saw in Uncharted 4 when they were younger, mm. who worked with their mom right. back when she was doing essentially the same thing that Nate and Sam were doing. Right. And I want to see what she got up to. Right. Like and the thing is because these games are heavily inspired by Indiana Jones. This would just straight up be Indiana Jones, but with two women, because it would take place in like the 70s. Right, which is cool though. Because it would literally take place in the time period that actually no, I think Indiana Jones actually takes place earlier. Yeah, I think in the, in the, what the, in the I, 19th century. I am because I, like, I remember like the game, like the movies came out in the 70s, but I think yeah, it's like, like it actually takes place. The 30s, isn't it? Because like, the, the Nazis 30s. were about yeah, you're right. Yeah. So this this would take place in the 70s, though. So this would take place when the movies came out, not when the when movies, the movies were taking place. But either way, it would be really fun. That sounds really I'll fun. I would like that. 